Hello everybody, what's up? My name is Brokusatsu and welcome to a brand new video. It's a lovely Sunday morning at the time where I'm well recording this and filming this and editing this video and putting it on YouTube. <laughs> so today we do not have a Tokusatsu figure. No, 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 my dear friend. Ooh, let me move that. Today we have an anime figure, and the last time I did like an anime figure on my channel was the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta video, that was like what, a couple months ago? And you guys liked the shit out of that video, and that's still surprising to the very day how you guys liked that video, but yeah. So, he, uh, so, this is the, oh, fuck, sorry. <laughs> this is the Awakening Super Saiyan Blood, Super Saiyan Vegeta. So for those who don't know, this figure is a, uh, this figure is a, uh, well, a reissue of this guy. And yes, I had this guy. I had this guy since 2016. I'm so happy that he got a brand new release. This guy pretty fucking expensive on the aftermarket. Don't worry, I got mine for a decent price at, at the time. Shout out to my dad. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So, Vegeta. My favorite Dragon Ball Z character. The Prince of All Saiyajin. Vegeta. <laughs> so, for playing around with this guy, I can say that this guy become this guy definitely becoming one of my favorites for this year. So, how good is he, Broku? So, just like the original one, this is how far his uh, legs go. I Me, mean, his torso go. He 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 go from here to here. I buy Ray. It is true. You can't you can't take this apart. If you want to, but uh, don't do that. This is this is how far he goes. From here too. How how good are his legs? I will say, my copy. Sorry, my copy is not loot, but I will say, there are, I did try I did try to copy the pose on the. Uh, I did try to copy this pose right here. On <laughs> on the figure, and uh, it went. If the figure did not like that, every time it does this leg piece pop off. Don't worry, don't worry. It's not broken or anything. Thank God for that. But every time I do it, this leg piece pop off, and uh, yeah, be careful. If if your cop if your copy if your copy can survive that because mine couldn't, then that's good for you. Oh well, yeah, he's pretty good for posing. How's he good for articulation? Well, well, he's a well, he's a well, he's a reissue of the 2016 version. But I will say, I like this version. I like. I like this version more because one well, well first off his hair. His hair is accurate. His hair is accurate to the well source material to him becoming a super saiyan. because you know cause you know how you know how Dragon Ball Z, how Goku, Vegeta, Trunks or Gohan, anyone turns Super Saiyan the hair the hair turn a little bit white, but also blonde at the same time. I feel like that's what Tamashi was going for for this guy. And I love it. Because the 2016 release had that type of mustard hair for his. <laughs> and uh I'm pretty I'm I'm so glad that uh I'm so glad that this guy doesn't have this. But yeah, this yeah, yeah, this is how far his uh his, uh, oops, his articulation goes. Like this. This is how far it is for this, and uh, yeah, you can't pose them. By the way, just want to clarify that. Oh yeah, for record, for, for record, for those who want to know, is this guy Premier Bandai? No, he's a regular release, just like Trunks. Yes, I do have Trunks. I will review that. Fi I will review that figure. Do not worry. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, this guy is a this guy is a regular release. He's pretty good, not gonna lie. You see you see by the you see in the picture how much I posed the crap out of this guy, but yeah, he's pretty good. I will say if yours is tight, I reckon I recommend to be like I recommend to find a way to fix that, but uh, overall yeah, yeah my copy's pretty good. And yes, you can put you can put any of the 2.0 heads on this guy. I have all the 2.0 of uh, Vegeta heads, except for Mod Vegeta. I sold that figure. Uh <laughs> I sold that figure last year, so I don't I don't have a Monster Vegeta on me anymore, unfortunately. And well, 
I really did wish Tamashi, I really did wish Tamashi do like a reissue of that guy. I can really use one, but uh, we both know that shit ain't gonna happen. But uh, yeah, on to the accessories of this guy. He had the exact same accessory, just like the other version. But here thing, this guy, the 2016 version comes with two heads. Well, three heads. This guy only comes with two. You think, you think you not want to uh, exit out. So, here we have his, uh, well, oh, ooh, 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 let me go fix that. Here we have his screaming head, when he's doing the FINAL FLASH! <laughs> and here we have his smirking head, this is the, his smirking grin, his face, this is, this is the face that, uh, he, this, this is, this is the face that he used against, well, against Android 19, when he shot the Big Bang attack at him. And also, this is the exact same green Vegeta had when he fought Cell, where he told Cell, I am Super Vegeta. Just like, just, just like with every other version of Vegeta 2.0, really, except for Superhero and Mod Vegeta, he comes with, he comes with the cross arms. I, I, I love this feat, I love this, uh, I love this piece right here, because this fits Vegeta so much. I, myself, feel like I'm Vegeta <laughs> Okay, here we have his, uh, well, his iconic dumb sub pose. The pose that he used when he get his butt whoop. I'm sorry, Vegeta, but it's true. This is, this is the pose that he's told Cell, Oh, I am Super Vegeta! <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Here we have his, let's call final, let's call these his final flash hands. Yeah, these are his final flash hands. The fuck, damn it. Yeah, these are his final flash hands. The the hands that he used against Cell in the show. And we have and we have and we have like well, I I'm calling these his, I'm calling these his Gallic gun hands. But at the same time, these these are his these are his open palm hands, his his relaxing hands too. Here we have his iconic singer, sir, that he used every time he's in, every time he's in that one fighting pose when he's fighting Goku. He did at the end of Super, and well, he didn't. He, well, he didn't begin in Z two. Love that homage, not gonna lie. But yeah, but yeah. Overall, he doesn't come with a lot. Well, again, to be fair, to be fair with you, he is a uh, he is a well, you can you can say a reissue of the 2016 release. And that's the best way to describe this figure. If you miss out, if you don't have a Vegeta figure, then there's two things you do. One, buy the superhero version of Vegeta, because that guy's really good. I mean, he's really good. And two, if you want like a Super Saiyan version, and, and if you don't want to pay wrong way, let's say, well, I don't know how much this fuck is going on that market, the 2016 version. Let's say around $200 for the original version, you can buy this guy. Okay, he is, well, my opinion, way better. Also, I didn't talk about this, but, uh, the original version, the original, the 2016 version had, like, a purplish blue look to him. But, uh, well, well, a light blue. This guy... Has more of a darker blue, and the armor way more detail here than the original release, and I love that so much. The pants, the pants are a different color though, but but move aside from that, yeah, this guy's really good though. So, since so since this is a Dragon Ball video, I have like a lot of Dragon Ball figures to review him to compare him with. I mean, we have a lot, so. We have we have the proud Manekian, Manekian uh, Piccolo. Yes, I have this guy. I do not like that figure not one bit. I still need to go. Uh, well, get my hands on the superhero version eventually. 
here we have, as my good friend Starbreast call him, the full Dookie Super Saiyan Goku. He's getting pretty well with both of them. Well, of course, this is this is anime accurate because Piccolo, Piccolo is the tallest between all three of them. I, I call this trio the big three for Dragon Ball, but that's just my opinion. Here we have Trunks, his well, his son, and yet yeah, this guy is next. This guy is next on my list to review. And here we have well, Cell, you know. The guy that, the guy that give, oh fuck, damn it. The guy that give Vegeta the butt whooping of a lifetime. Like, my goodness. This man, Cell. I might have, I might have a bias toward the Android Cell saga due, due to that being my favorite saga in Dragon Ball Z. But that's just me. Alright, look at that. He's gonna play with, he's gonna play with both of them, though. Well, of course. Cell's taller. I'm not gonna lie. Although... It's surprising that Trunks is a little bit tall, but at the same time, it makes sense, though. He does have... Bo Bulma is taller than Vegeta, but in the same time, he does... He does, the, he does get a growth spurt after coming out of the time chamber. Here we have Super Saiyan 2 Goku, Death Event exclusive. And, uh, here we have... Here we have, well, Scouter Vegeta... Oh fuck! Yeah. All right, let's move these two bad boys out of the way. <laughs> and here we have the superhero Vegeta I was talking about. And here we have the superhero Gohan. And no, I'm not buying Gohan Beast. All right. And just for last, here we have the uh, Super Saiyan Blue version of Vegeta from the Broly movie. Let me get this guy in a good pose because they figure they figure like to fall down at time. I cannot wait! For, I cannot wait to get that reissue because I to I totally need that guy. And here he is with the Super Saiyan. Uh, well, Super Saiyan Blue Goku. Damn it, that pop up. Hold on. Hold on. That meant for that to happen. And, uh, yeah, that's it. All right. And yeah, guys, that's the and that's the Vegeta. Well, uh, the Awakening Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. <laughs> Overall, what do I think is guy? I'm happy again to have a Vegeta figure that it not loose because the while I enjoyed the 2016 version, I can't I can't I can't lie by saying that more recently years the more recent years this guy still holds up pretty well. Yeah, but at the same time, he is super loose on mine. And uh, I'm happy that Tomashi decided to make like a well a somewhat re a, a reissue, you can say, because this guy, this guy can, be, this guy can be your current Vegeta in your collection, and uh, you'll see in the picture that uh, I do I did swap out the Super Saiyan head with the with the second with the second head that I got for this that you get with the Scouter Vegeta head, and I love that, and uh yeah. And uh, yeah, thank yeah, thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, follow all my social media description. And oh yeah, by the way, uh, I will be live streaming tomorrow on YouTube and the beginning of summer as well. And uh, yeah, come join me. We'll train, we'll chill, we'll hang, and uh, yeah, it'll be a fun time. Thank you all for watching. Again, follow all my social media description. And uh, <laughs> and yeah, yeah, my name's Aaron. Now, uh, my name is Voku. Either way, which way, which one you want to call it. Follow all my social media description. Put the press the like button and put the notification button off. For, put the notification button off for my, for my next video because my goal for this year is reach thousand subs. And uh, I know that I know, but you guys need help. 
we could do it. And uh, yeah, yeah, thank God. My, yeah, I don't know. Peace. Enjoy the pictures. Hi. Uh, I didn't show this, but this is the. Uh, I. Uh, I did show the video, but I didn't show food. But this is. I do have the. I still have the 2016 version. <clears throat> uh, this guy, this guy hold up pretty well. But I'm glad that uh, now that I have well this version now and uh, thank for that. But G is my all-time favorite character, so uh, me making a review on this figure put a lot of my passion into these pictures as well. Basically, me talking basically me talking about why I love Dragon Ball Z in general. Yeah, that's yeah. Here we are. This is me. <laughs> Sign, we're the number one. 